My name is Marina. I'm from Ukraine. I'm 27 years old. I've been in Dubai for two years and I converted one year ago. As you know, Ukraine was the part of USSR. So at that time there was no religion. The only religion was communism. Communism was the religion, was the lifestyle, everything, as my parents told me. All the charges, mosques, everything was destroyed. Because like Uzbekistan, Tatarstan, there was Muslims since before. Not like Christians as Ukraine or Russia itself. So my parents, there was not, there was not religious. Like they never went to church. They just believed in God and that's it. Especially my mom, she was always against church. Why? Because if you go to the church, you see, uh, church is same as most the place where you come to talk to the God, to be closer, to do the religious stuff, not just to come give money for the uh, people who are like working there to buy themselves Ferto phones and drive Mercedes uh, cars. Sorry, it's not a religion. I was not uh, raised in the religious family, so I was not uh, like Christian self. You cannot call that I was Christian before but of course because uh, when I was born it was like used to that uh, everybody's taking their kids to the church and then making them Christian and all this stuff like this I never believed that Jesus is the son of God like most of the people believe in I believe that he was a prophet and um, that he was sent by God I was reading like small not too much like not deep into books I was reading about Islam and uh, before I came to Dubai, I bought Quran in uh, like with the in Russian, like translation. I start living in this community, in like around everybody's Muslim, most of the people Muslim, in the at work everybody Muslims. So um, I saw that like Islam is gathering people together, and it does like if you're gonna be in some bad situation, they will always help you. Before Ramadan came, I was thinking, because the thing is like, I'm smoking. And before I was smoking like two packs a day. I was thinking, I want to see myself, like rather I can hold myself for this goal the whole day long, the whole month for not smoking, because really it was a big addiction for me. And from the first day of Ramadan, I start, I start uh, fasting, but I didn't convert. I convert in the middle. So like all these two weeks I was fasting, it was easy for me. I didn't even feel like I want to smoke, like I'm dying. Like before, like one day without smoking was very bad. But in Ramadan, it was easier for me because when you believe that you're doing something, not for someone, not for people around, not to show off, you're doing it for yourself and for Allah. So I made the Shahada and I convert. But I finished fasting, but I didn't cover myself. The biggest concern for me, like before, like all our countries, people, we are drinking. Not like we are alcoholics, but like each party or as soon as people meet together, they're not drinking chai. Like here, like they will come and drink sada chai. No, you know, for us, like everybody's drinking beer. So for me, I don't do this stuff anymore. The thing that attracted me mostly to uh, join Islam was the way they treat women in Islam. Because before, when I didn't know about Islam much, I was thinking that the woman that wears abaya and uh, she's always staying home, like she's not allowed to work, I was thinking. In general, Islam has helped me. Uh, my life became easier, not like social way or like because of some work outside. It's only from inside myself. There's like sometimes mostly, especially now, like Ramadan, you're fasting, you're driving and uh, so much people, they're driving the way they want, they're not following the rules and you're getting angry, but you just like, okay, whatever. I would get angry, I would kill them all there, but no, easy, just, okay, so it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, no really, because in general I'm an aggressive person. Like I'm quiet, we but know. it's... <laughs> we, we can tell. Be afraid, Allah is with you. And if you believe in Islam, you believe in Allah, you believe in prophets, just, uh, and you're still not sure whether you want to accept it or not, better come to Islamic centers where meet the people who just convert to Islam, it's gonna be easier for you because uh, you need to communicate with people who are already with Islam, not with the people who are outside. Welcome to Islam. <laughs>